Those of you who saw my last video know that I was recently in Nashville, Tennessee and Asheville, North Carolina filming for the Homestead Festival with Justin Rhodes. Me traveling is only possible with the help of this lady right here, dance partner. Everyone needs a farm sitter when you have a farm or a homestead. What were your thoughts going into this? Did you have any anxiety about the animals while I was away? Uh, well, yeah, obviously I've never done it completely by myself. I was most worried about the schedule because I still have my full-time job and the girls and my own responsibilities. So I knew it was re gonna require like early mornings and scheduling. And also my biggest fear was that if there was an emergency, like one of the animals got out or something bad happened or we had bad weather, I wouldn't know how to handle it on my own. But you actually did some filming while I was gone about your time here. I didn't even ask you to do that. And you took some video, which was cool, right? Well, that was Saffron's idea. Well, it was our joint idea, but it was fun. It felt like we were still like maintaining what you do here. And um, just in case there was any emergencies, we were able to capture it on camera. Let's check out the footage. I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> so, we'll cut to it now and I'll have seen it in the edit. So we'll do that. Enjoy. All right, it's super early in the morning. Do you know where we're going, Saffron? To the grass pit hillside. And why are we going there? Um, to feed the pigs and the uh, chickens. That's right. Dan is out of town and needed somebody to look after all the animals. So we are going to head over there and get all the animals fed before school, which means we had to get up at five o'clock in the morning and we don't normally do that. So here we go. Here we are, let's go figure out how to do this. What do you want to feed first? Uh, the pig. Good idea. Look, they're right there by the fence. Go say good morning to the little piggies. Yeah. <laughs> did you get that on <laughs> Of course they did. Hi, little boys. Hey there, piggy piggies. Hi. You guys are too cute when you're little. Come on. All right, come here. Can you grab a scoop of food for the chickens? What? Are you making me do all the work? Cause you don't I am go making you do there. all the work. Go ahead and set your cup down somewhere. All right, thanks. We've done this before. Look at this hay bale. Those are a crazy amount of mushrooms growing out of that hay bale, right? Yeah. All right, Saffron, do you remember what kind of food the pigs get? Wet food. Right, and what kind of food do the chickens get? Dry food. Do you know why? Because they have two stomachs, and they can develop rocks, so they can develop hard food. All right, here's the dry food. You'll get to do the chickens, and I'll get the pig feed. Egg shell. All right, let's go. Oops. Here we go. Piggy, 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 come here. There you go, boys. <laughs> they eat like pigs. Where are we to, off to next? The ch -ch -ch chicken. Let's go. I'll show you. Hi, ladies. Here you go. Water is good and there's no eggs. I'm gonna film the sheep moving it. He's gonna edit it to make the sheep moving it. Mom, did you fart? No, it was the metal. All right, we're done with chores. You ready to go to school? No, <laughs> that was a good video. You think it was a good video? Yeah. Eh, it wasn't as good as Dan's videos because we're using a cell phone instead of some fancy video equipment, but I think it'll work. I think Dan will use it. All right, it's day three of Dance Partner Takes Over the Grassfed Homestead, and I think I did something really bad yesterday because when I pulled in the driveway, all of the chickens were out. Hi, ladies. Why are you over here? This is not your space. I can already see from here 
that the door is indeed shut. So he got out some other way and I don't know how. It's not flush with the ground, it's tilting forward. Shoot. Okay, I had to call Dan. It was an emergency. Um, this is the plan. I just moved the chicken tractor forward and made sure it was on level ground. I checked the back. It doesn't look like they can get out at all. And now I'm gonna get their feed and see if they'll come for food and if I can get them back in. Okay, I was able to catch five chickens. The problem is I can't remember how many there actually were. I think I'm missing two. Um, but I'm gonna take a break because I'm a little out of breath and I'm going to feed some pigs and move the lids. Hey there, piggy piggies. You guys ready to eat? Oh, looks like you need water. Let's go do that. I'll clean out your bowl, that's gross. I don't know how Dan films while he works because I don't have that many hands, but I got them fed. And behind me, I'm filling their water. And I just saw one of the chickens go over to the sheep and I'm gonna try to catch it. A chicken in a net. Hey, you're all back home. Except for, I feel like we're missing one and I don't know where she's at. But I'll feed you guys now. There you go, ladies. I got the lambs moved to fresh grass, so they're happy. Hi, boys. It's so rainy that they haven't even touched their water since Dan left. Everything that's gone has just spilled out when I've moved their pen, which has been really nice for me. It's one less job I have to do. I have good news. I caught the last chicken. She was waiting by the chicken tractor. I caught her in the net. So all your chickens are back home and fed and the pigs are happy. And I was able to find that last patch of fresh grass for the lambs. So I did not have to feed them any hay while you were gone. Um, so as I feared, uh, we did have a little bit of a disaster with the chickens getting out. And I am glad that I was here filming it. Before I called Dan to fix that situation, I actually sent the video to one of my best friends, like freaking out about the chickens. And she had to call me later and ask me what happened because I forgot to tell her the outcome of it. And I'm glad it all worked out. Thank you so much for your help with that in my absence. I'm very grateful for having me so I can go off and make a beautiful documentary. <laughs> You're welcome. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link below. Check it out. It came out good. The biggest struggles we face coming to events are, one, we have a, a big homestead that we're running that needs someone day to day to day. Nobody knows the farm like we do. So it's a big sacrifice to come and be away and to prep or train somebody to take over. And anybody who has kids knows too, it's also hard to disrupt that. It's not just like, oh, I'll go and everybody stay home. That's just not how we work as a family. 